Okay, this is part four of the Watchman Stove Do-It-Yourself Welding Kit. And again, please apologize my quick and uh, dirty approach to this. I'm just trying to stay ahead of the storm that's coming through. Um, so it is what it is, and we're just going to power through this and, and do the best we can with it. Okay, so this joint's fully welded. Uh, this joint's fully welded. Okay. Same with the left and right sides as you would be viewing the stove from a normal operating position. So what we're doing now is we are laying out for the, the coal grate, the internal coal grate that fits into the bottom of the main burn tube. And the easiest way that I've found to do this, because you got to think like when you're using this, all right, you're putting wood in. And I know some of them in the past, I had actually put this burn grate like this, which is fine. It doesn't affect anything. However, when you're pushing your wood in, if this is angled, you know, you're only going to be able to push the wood in so far. So, this dashed line represents where that air plenum plate is, where that air divider plate is. So, that's where you want to put the coal grate as well. And, again, I have the uh, provided legs that come with the kit. They are just slid in place right now to help with alignment. So I've got those pushed in as far as they will go. And what that's doing is it's giving me a lip to rest that coal grate on. And so what I'm going to do while it's on its side right here is I will put a tack here. I'll put a tack here. And then, if everything stays how I want it, I will also put a tack here, and I will put a tack in this corner. Then I will slide these uh, legs out and strengthen up these tacks. And normally I just do, I don't know, maybe half inch, three quarters, maybe an inch of weld at each one of those places I said to put a tack. Now also, you want to try to make it so that, like if this is your air plenum plate, um, so remember you're, you're feeding wood in here, so where, where that air plenum plate meets where you we're getting ready to install the coal grate, you want to make sure they're at least even, and if anything, you can make this a little bit lower just a little bit so that when you're feeding wood in you don't you don't have any restriction all right and again uh, I apologize for not having any weld sequences and for how you know sloppy this is but it's been quite a few years and I'm, I'm just trying to get everything back on track all right you guys um, let me tack this up and uh, I will add this to this portion Okay, here's one side welded. You see I have you know, roughly an inch of weld at each one of those corners. The legs that keep getting used as temporary, uh, temporary spacers, they've been removed. Okay, so when you have your grate welded in, it should look something like this. And the little notch in the back of the stainless coal grate is uh, to facilitate easier cleaning. And when you slide your ash slide open, it uh, keeps the ash from clogging up in there. 
Okay, I'm going to flip this over so you can get a view of the underside of it. And that's what the underside should look like. Now is a good time to take your flap wheel, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, <clears throat> go around the outside of everything, smooth everything. These welds right here aren't going to be the prettiest simply because you're welding a straight cut to a radius. Um, your bottom weld will look better. Your top weld will, will look better. Um, but what you want to do is to just dress up anywhere where there's you know, a little welding slag because up next is the uh, potato plate and it'll be going across right here. So you want to get this as smooth as you can. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it makes it a whole lot easier when you're laying out the marks for your potato plate, which will pretty much go like this. I normally try to set it like um, at the joint where these two pieces of six inch tube come together. I have learned to leave the um, bracket for the ash slide off until later in the build just because it's easier to stand the stove up and measure for the leg sockets and everything if you just leave that off it's <clears throat> it's not a big deal to uh, wait until later stages to do that Okay, that's it for now. Um, hoping to do more very soon. And again, I apologize for the, uh, the poor quality of this recording. Um, but stay tuned and um, as, the, as things progress, I'm hoping to um, do some really good smoker videos. And you know, this is new content, I'm trying to do all new content. Um, so anyway, Hope you guys are having a great day and uh, talk to you soon.